Cassidy from Cassidy Reads and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do the Get to Know the Romance Reader book tag. I originally saw this on Falling Over Books YouTube channel but I know the original video is on Falling for Romance so I'll link both of those videos down below and I thought this would be a lot of fun to do since I have gained a couple subscribers since I started my YouTube channel and that was the only time I kind of did an introduction so I thought this would be kind of nice to do this. So let's get on with the video. The first question is what is your romance origin story? How you first came to read romance? So I'll be honest, before like 2014 I really hated to read. I didn't enjoy any of the books reading them in school. I thought it was such a chore to read. I honestly, I can't even remember any of the books that I read in high school besides like Romeo and Juliet, but I really didn't enjoy reading them. I hated listening like along and reading to the story as like we had the audiobook playing in the background. And then in about like 2012, 2013-ish, I started reading fan fiction on Wattpad and like other websites. And most people wouldn't really consider that reading, but I mean, I did. It really definitely helped me get into the real reading of novels and series and things like that. And then in 2014 and 2015, I was a senior in high school and I had four study halls every day and I couldn't get out of them because there was just no way and I couldn't fill them up because like I already had gone over my credits and I could have graduated early but I needed gym class so it was this whole fiasco. But I had four study hall periods and I was super bored. I didn't want to always sit on my phone. I really didn't have homework to do because I would get it done in like one period and so I don't remember the exact first book that I read, but the first book that actually made me fall into romance was Jenny Han's To All the Boys I Loved Before. That was the start of something new. I absolutely loved reading that book, and I couldn't wait to get the second book because the second book was already out, and then the third book came out like years later, and that was super exciting. So that's really what helped me get into romance was the four study hall periods that I had, and now it's just become one of my biggest hobbies that I enjoy doing every day. The second question is, if you could be a heroine in a romance novel, who would be the author and what's one trope you'd insist be in the story? Wow, um, this is a hard question. I honestly like automatically want to say Colleen Hoover because she's one of my favorite authors, but at the same time, her books are kind of tragic and make me sad. So. Oh, at the same time, I don't want her to be the author, even though, I don't get me wrong, I love Colleen Hoover. But I would have to say, this is so hard, I would probably have to go with Vi Keelan, just because I would go along with the, like, trope of enemies to lovers or office romance, even though I don't work at an office, but this is hypothetical. And so she's one of my favorite enemies to lovers or office romance writer. So I would have to definitely go with her and I do enjoy her writing style. And I feel like at the same time, like there'd be like a plot twist in the book too, where I'd be like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting that to happen. So definitely by Keelan. So the third question is, what is one romance book you read this year and that you would recommend to people? I've only read one book so far in 2020, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this back to 2019, and that was pretty easy for me to pick, and that is The Bromance Book Club by Alyssa K. Adams. I read this book when it came out in November, and I absolutely adored it. I think it's great for anybody who actually reads romance or somebody who's getting into romance. It just talks about a lot of different things. Of course, the, the couple is married in this romance and they're on the verge of getting a divorce and it's just kind of sweet to see the guy like fighting for his wife and fighting for his marriage and fighting for his daughters. And like I said, this is just kind of a great start to people who haven't really read romance because it is kind of on the lighter side. There's not too much sexual activity in it and it's not like a dark romance, it's contemporary. So I think this would be a great pick. The fourth question is, what is your favorite romance subgenre and what subgenre do you not read enough of? So that's pretty easy. I read a ton of contemporary romance. A lot of my favorite contemporary romance authors are like Vi Keelan, Penelope Ward, Colleen Hoover, Kennedy Fox, so many others that I can 
probably be here for days to mention. And I know I definitely don't read enough historical romance and enough paranormal romance. Paranormal I've actually recently gotten into thanks to J.R. Ward and Samantha Young. I've read some of their paranormal romances and which is so weird because I used to read paranormal fan fiction on Wattpad. But I'm definitely getting more into those romances. I'm trying to just broaden my horizon to read every genre in romance and then make my way through reading other genres in the book community. Number five is who is your number one auto buy author? I definitely don't have one <laughs> but I guess to just mention a bunch of them because it's not going to happen to mention one but it's definitely Kennedy Fox, Colleen Hoover, Vi Keelan, Penelope Ward, LJ Shen, um, Willow Winters, <laughs> Uh, there's so many. Uh, of course, I don't have all the paperbacks of these authors, but I do have a lot of their Kindles or their uh, audiobooks or things like that. Um, my shelf is definitely getting a little crowded, but those are most of my auto buy authors. Number six is how do you find romance recommendations? Goodreads, Instagram, Booktube. Um, most of the cases, Goodreads. Um, that has definitely helped me, especially in the beginning when I didn't have a blog or have YouTube and things like that. And now that I have an Instagram, I have a group of friends that like I talk to on the daily basis and I get recommendations from them. We actually have a spreadsheet that we use and um, a bunch of us like write like some of our favorite romances and like who recommended it by and like what's the synopsis and characters, the trove, so that's super exciting. Um, I absolutely love doing something like that. Of course, like I said, I talk to my friends on Instagram, um, just going through my feed, I can see books that people post, um, booktube, uh, peace love books, Jessica, I find a lot of my recommendations from her. Recently, Shelby, I've been finding a lot of recommendations from her. Um, and just like other people here on YouTube, Goodreads, like I said, my sister also reads, per, um, romance and doesn't read as frequently as me but I find a lot of recommendations from her. She actually helped me um, find my love for Vi Keelan so that was super cool. So yeah I definitely think that having good reads on Instagram and booktube and things like that help people get recommendations especially if you don't have people in your like everyday life who like to read. The next question is what is an up-and-coming release that you are most excited for? Again, I have a bunch of these that I can mention, but I'm only going to mention like a couple so we're not here all day. Um, one being Inappropriate by Vi Keelan, that comes out in the end of January. A Favor for a Favor by Helena Hunting, that comes out at the end of January. Um, Always Yours by Kennedy Fox, that's coming out in February. That's the second book in this duet for Liam and Maddie. Um, Always Mine com actually comes out on January 7th, so look out for that. <laughs> um, Wild at Heart by Kay Tucker, that is the sequel to A Simple Wild. I'm very, very excited for that. Uh, that comes out in March. Uh, Just One Year by Penelope Ward, that comes out in February. I'm not exactly sure what day. Um, just so many romances, of course, like up and coming releases from Willow and Colleen Hoover. Oh, Undercover Bo uh, Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. That's the second book in that series, or I don't know if it's really a series, but it's the second book following the Bromance Book Club. So those are some of the books that I'm most excited for in 2020. The next question is probably something I talk about a lot on this channel or on my Instagram, and that is one, what is one misconception of romance you would like to lay to rest? And I feel like I'm repeating this so many times on this channel or on my Instagram, and that is not every romance is like Fifty Shades. Um, I hate... And I know that's a strong word, but I do not like when people just say, oh, well, all romance is just sex. Well, it's not. <laughs> and I hate, I really don't like when people say that because there's so much more to romance. And especially now with these emotional reads and things that connect with us with the real world and things that happen and they're so realistic. I just really don't like when people say, well, oh, that's just like Fifty Shades because it's romance, or oh, romance is so bad because it's not even realistic. 
it is. I mean, I'll admit some of these books aren't realistic because they're like, oh, I like dropped a dollar in front of this hot billionaire and he drives a nice car and we just looked into each other. Like, I mean, sometimes it can be realistic, but not all the times it is. But that's just the one thing I really want to let people know. And most of you probably agree watching this. If you do read romance and you know that people always make comments about romance novels being like Fifty Shades. The ninth question is, who is the most recent romance reading content creator you came across and you'd like to shout out? I have mentioned her a couple times here on my channel, especially more recently, and that is Shelby. I will link her videos down below or just her page down below. She has become such a good friend of mine in such a short period of time. I absolutely love Shelby. I think she's so sweet. She's so nice. We have a lot in common when it comes to reading and what types of books we like to read. Um, she's just so sweet. We actually did a book exchange in December for Christmas and she's just helped me a lot with this channel. I mean, I probably wouldn't be doing half the things I'm doing if it wasn't for her. She's helped me like figure out how to make the intro and how to add like the books, like the images into the videos. So she's been a huge help and I cannot thank her enough. She, like I said, she's so sweet and I can't wait to see like what 2020 brings for our friendship and I just can't wait to continue talking to her and watching her amazing videos here on YouTube. The tenth and final question is, if someone had never read romance before and asked you to recommend three romances that f come to mind as a first place to start, what would those recommendations be? Um, this is so hard because I felt like, even though I read Johnny ha Jenny Hanna as like one of my first authors, I also did read Colleen Hoover as one of my first authors and that was like jumping into a cage of like wild animals like wolves or lions. So I feel like I'm not that good at recommending books for someone who hasn't really read romance before but I'm going to try my best. And so these three, two of them I have mentioned quite a few times on my channel and I'm so sorry for that but I just can't help but share my love for these books. And the first one is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I just think this is such a great romance because it's not only just romance. There's love between two characters, there's love between family, there's great character development, probably one of some of the best character development I've ever seen in a romance. And it's not that steamy, which is really good for someone who's maybe not, might be comfortable with all the sexual activity in books, especially romances. And I just love this romance. It was probably, it's one of my favorite romances of all time. And I can't wait for the sequel, like I've mentioned in this video. But this is, this would be a really good start. Like I said, it's very, not as, not as, like, steamy. Um, and there's just so much going on in this romance that it makes you want to keep reading more. So I think this would be a great start for a romance reader who hasn't read romance before. The next book is probably no surprise that I'm talking about it, but that is On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. I think this is a little more steamier than A Simple Wild, but still at the same time not as steamy as other romances. This is an age gap romance, but at the same time you kind of ignore the age gap because the fact that this is just such a beautiful story and the two characters have to depend on each other and learn I mean, like, they're really only there for each other and no, when no one else can be. So it's just a, such a gorgeous story. It's beautiful. Um, it is on the older side of romance, but um, as far as, like, being, like, I feel like it's about, like, the early 2000s, um, 1990s-ish, I think. Um, but it's such a beautiful story. I absolutely love it. I recommend it to anybody, even people who don't read romance or read romance, but I highly recommend this story. And the last one I have to mention is another emotional romance, but it's not as emotional as Colleen Hoover's books. I kind of, like, I just read her as soon as, like, I started reading romance, so I feel like this book would be a little better at recommending as an emotional romance, and that is Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. Another book that has more, like, realistic factors to it and makes you actually feel like 
they're like human not that I don't feel like other people in romance novels aren't human but like I said this is more realistic it kind of pulls you in more and this was just a huge page turner actually now picking up in my hands I kind of want to reread it again but this was a really good romance and like I said there's so much going on where it's not it, you feel like it's not just a romance and that it's others so it would be kind of good for someone who doesn't really like romance or who's starting to get into it because there's a lot more things going on besides just the romance. And there you have it. There was the Get to Know the Romance Reader book tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of recommendation videos you'd like to see. I'd like to do a couple in the next few weeks. And I don't really know what type of romances you would like to see more of. So definitely let me know. I did already do a sports romance and an enemies to lovers romance video. So I definitely don't want to do more of those. But maybe a workplace or office romance or um small town romance just let me know comment down below but thank you so much for watching and have a great day don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my instagram but thanks for watching bye